Rose. Welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your love reading. So this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Leo. I will separate it into men and women. I'll try to time stamp it for you guys. But if I don't get to it, I do apologize. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is your focus card? All right, you guys got Thinker. So with this card, it's really saying... You have a desire to be with somebody. Um, and you realize that love is not always logical. But, like, you really want this person. But it's really time to weigh the pros and cons of the partnership. Um, if there's not enough, uh, you know, things you have in common. If, if there's not enough common ground to uh, stand on then it may be time for you to walk away. If there is, then go for it. But um, there are other fish in the sea, so don't force it to work. Um, I'm hearing like sometimes people's actions speak for them. Sometimes people tell you who they are by silence. No matter what, however this person chooses to tell you who they are, believe them. Take them at their word. It's not a time to indulge in fantasy or, or dreams. It's, um, you know, dream land with this person. No matter what, the facts are the facts. So it's time to reevaluate a relationship that you are in. Um, most definitely. So let me get a deck here. We'll start. Oops. Spirit angels, what messages do you have for Leo? Leo men. Leo men. Oh, way too many. Leo men. Okay, five of swords in reverse. Leo females. have the queen of wands the situation you guys are currently dealing with is the eight of pentacles your challenge is the king of wands in your recent past you have the six of wands in your near future you have the page of swords in your uh foundation of the reading you have the six of pentacles four of cups is right underneath that so um somebody isn't giving you enough time attention affection uh investment in their future um so it's really time to rethink are they giving me enough am i getting out of this relationship what i need um it's time to sit down and and figure this out it's time to silence um, your environment, your mind, and think, what is this? Should I go? Should I stay? Am I receiving enough? Am I giving enough? Am I, you know, are we on the same page uh, in in your guys' relationship? So the situation you guys are both dealing with, um, somebody could be very focused on money um, versus their passion. You want their passionate side to come out. You want to see, you know, their you want to see their passion, feel their desire. And they're very focused on making money, saving money, things like that. So your situation is they're focused on anything but love. And your challenge is you want everything in love. You know, in the past, the two of you really seem to hit it off. Um, you could be finding out some news in the near future. However, um, you could be digging into this person's, you know, 
social media or cell phone or something. There's some kind of information coming in that's going to kind of make you rethink this relationship. Um, men, uh, Leo men, most definitely, you, uh, you are probably needing to walk away from a situation that you are still holding on to. Let's see. Why is the Five of Swords here for Leo? Yeah, this has run its course. You are at the end of a situation with somebody. Uh, there could You could be finding out about some deception or some stealing. Um, and it could be more than likely going to a court of law for some of you. But this is needing to walk away from a cycle that has completed. Um, needing to find your own passion and your desires to move forward. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Leo men? The Emperor in Reverse. Yeah, you've given away your power. You love this person so much, but you're not you're not seeing they could be using you for money. They could be stealing money from you and and you know stocking it away. Look at that guy. He's like hiding away money. Um you know, putting a dent in your business for some. Um but you have just literally given away your power and they are they're stealing from you. Um could be a spouse even because it is a Ten of Pentacles. It has something to do with family, something that you need to cut away from, whether that be family of your own or family that you have created with another person. Uh, and your business could be very successful. You could be very successful. You could be bringing in a lot of money, but um, there, something's not right with this person's energy. It's not good. Why is the King of Wands their challenge? Yeah, Leo, here you are. You need to find your own you need to find your own feet again. You need to find your passion, um, your love for yourself. You could be an entrepreneur. Um, you need to see what is going on here. Some light needs shedded on this situation. Um, a choice needs to be made. You could know about this. And the choice that needs to be made more than likely is for you to walk away. Uh, but you're really thinking about it. You're really contemplating what's going on here. Why is the page of swords here? Yeah, this is somebody you have created a family with. This is somebody you possibly have children with, but the truth is coming out about their true intentions. The truth is coming out about what's really going on. You could have a mistress and the truth is coming out. And you're worried about losing money in, you know, the divorce. It could be only for some of you. So tell me more about this empress. I thought one just flew out. Maybe not. Yep. Yeah. Your person, you're finding out about the betrayal. You're finding out about uh, what's been going on. And the truth is honestly going to set you free. Tell me more about this sun card in the middle please tell me more could be dealing with another leo could be dealing with a uh, virgo taurus capricorn an aries whoa okay so these are what flew out i'm going to put them back because i don't know if they came in the upright or in the reverse and the devil's at the bottom so let me see tell me more about this yeah, this has to do with you making your money. Most definitely. You are going to walk away from this situation. Um, you're going to be a little bit more, put tighter reins on your money. Somebody's doing this out of greed. Um, somebody's planning on divorcing. And more, more than likely, they are stockpiling your money out of greed, out of um, selfishness. You have been working hard. You, you, know, you go to work every day. You have been making the money. But action needs to be taken now. And I feel like you need to protect yourself. This is somebody that you are married to or have children with. Wow. Yeah. This, you need to complete this. You need to walk away from this. The confusion is going to subside here. You could like have a feeling this is going on. And you are in the near future receiving the information you need to know about this betrayal your spouse or person you have children with could be uh, having, you know, splitting their energy somewhere else. And you are finding out about this and they've been stockpiling money, your money. 
um, the advice here is to uh, allow this situation to come to a close. This is a completion point. Um, it just needs to be released and walked away from. There are some secrets that are going to be illuminated for you, Leo. The sun is going to illuminate some deception that has been going on here. And it's going to give you the freedom you need to take that leap of faith and set out on your own um, set out in your own adventure, taking back control of your life. Um, this person could take care of your finances as a family, you know, as a, you know, like one person always pays the bills. The money always goes in the bank. The other one always pays the bills and they could be stockpiling. I keep seeing stockpiling. So be cautious of that. Um, Leo men, uh, you'll want to definitely check out my extended on this because I will see what signs we're dealing with. I will see uh, where this uh, future energy is leading to an outcome, your blocks, spirit's advice, and what you need to know that is being kept secret from you. That's all in the extended. So if this is resonated, resonating, please join me um, over there so we can get some more answers for you because I don't like this. You need to walk away from this. This is no good from you. Look how even in this card, they're taking two swords like they're stealing them and running away leaving the other person heartbroken with the three swords left over. So this, yeah, most definitely, if that's resonating with you, Leo men, please check out the extended. All right, let's get one card of um, from the Romance Angels for Leo men. Yeah, and you, like, you know something is going on, but you're trying to figure it out. Um, calculated action is called for now. It's important to sit down and plan a strategy to get out of this situation you need to focus on the steps you're going to take to claim your prosperity back um yeah okay let's get one card from our romance angels one card for leo men okay make the effort so yeah you are being guided you they are trying to show you the steps to take i already put the cards back but they're trying to illuminate that energy of the moon the deception they're trying to eliminate or illuminate that and your path to show you what steps you need to make you need to make the effort if you want to get out of the situation bottom of the deck is codependency so this person could be codependent on you for your finances and they're trying to weasel out some money to get out of the situation for some of you but you're going to learn of the deceit real quick. You're going to learn about what um, was done that betrayed you. Okay. Whew. I need to wave my sage a little bit around here. I want to clear that energy before I begin the females. Okay. All right. Leo females. You are dealing with somebody who more than likely is... A perfect match for you quote unquote perfect nobody's perfect you know the deal um, and you're really reevaluating this uh, connection or they are because they are very focused at work they're very focused on making the money they're very focused at um, providing for the family and they're very successful at it um, leaving them constantly feeding um, their work life and not their home life is what I truly feel for you guys all right, let's see why the Queen of Wands is here for our Leo females. Yeah, see, the two of you have a successful connection. The two of you run a successful business. The two of you, this is good, but there's an imbalance in the relationship that is taking a toll on you guys. There is too much focus on work, not enough focus on love, um, but the connection is strong. There's just, there's just a disconnect here why is the eight of pentacles here for our leo females could be dealing with another um cancer or uh, cancer uh aries leo sagittarius okay so you have to make a decision or they do one of you has to make a decision am i going to continue to focus more on my bank account, my savings account, or am I going to focus more on the love and desire for my family? 
This person that you are connecting with could be an entrepreneur. More than likely, the two of you own a business together. Um, so they're very focused. They're very, they're a visionary. They, they get laser focused. You or them. This can go either way being it's two fire signs. But a choice needs to be made. Do I need to stop focusing? You know, it's, it really needs to be calculated. Do I want to continue to focus um, more on my my job, my career, my business, than my family? Or am I going to um, choose my family and cut back at work some? Um, the challenge here is, is they are very laser focused. They do have that vision and they don't want to stop because they got the taste of success. Um, the challenge is getting this person to uh, let loose, cut back, have a good time, celebrate with friends, family. Um, they need to apologize. They need to put more effort into this love um, than uh, their work, their career. All right, let's see what this page of swords is all about for our Leo females. Leo females, why is the page of swords here? You could come in um, and, yeah, you could come in and tell this person, I need more out of you. We can't survive like this. Yeah, we have money, we have things, but we have a disconnect. There is a rift between us, and I feel like I'm constantly fighting for your attention. I feel like I'm constantly begging you to come home. I feel like I'm constantly trying to get you to focus on family rather than business, rather than creating your empire. What's the use of creating an empire if you have nobody left to share it with? Because somebody will get tired of waiting for that attention if they're, they're never receiving it. Um, and whoever is the one that is not getting the attention is really contemplating, really thinking, Leo females, I do believe that's you. Do I want to continue my life like this? Do I want to keep getting breadcrumbed by my spouse, by my lover, by my, you know, by my partner, um, all in the name of money? Uh, and you feel like it's like that constant thirst, like I want love, I want passion, I want, um, a relationship where I don't have to fight and and uh, compete for your time and uh, just your time. Like the love here, the passion here between the two of you is amazing. It is a successful relationship, but there is almost like a greed of of I got to make my I got to make it bigger. I got to make it better. Um, and they're very focused on creating that empire. You are manifesting an opportunity into your life, Leo females. And I do see that while your person is focused at work, working, um, that communication could be coming in from somebody new, creating this question, do I stay true to my family, my home that I built, or do I allow the temptation of somebody new to waver my heart back and forth. Um, one of these two people, whether either the person you're dealing with or the new person coming in is a soulmate for you. You are wondering, is this the life for me? Do I really need this big house, this fancy car? Or do I want to set out on my own and, and be with somebody who isn't afraid to reach out and show me that love? That isn't afraid to you know, put down uh, the responsibility of work after a 12-hour day and come home and eat supper with the family. So, uh, Leo females, I truly believe you have uh, somebody coming in who's going to tempt you. They're going to uh, make you question, is the success, is the fame, is the, you know, the big business really worth sticking around? Or do I want to go after somebody, something else, something new, something that has caught my attention? And I do think you're going to tell uh, your person that you're dealing with a truth in one way or another. Um, in your extended, I will be pulling in what zodiac is coming in for you or what zodiacs because I will pull numerous. Who is coming in that is that temptation? Um, and I will pull an outcome for both scenarios um, as well as the Leo men. So... Um, as well as timing and an outcome, a potential outcome to this in, uh, 
future energy coming in for you guys. So most definitely it's going to be an interesting extended reading, Leos. If either one of these situations uh, fit your uh, current life, definitely check me out. I'm very interested to see where this goes for you, Leos. Um, because the bottom of your deck was TikTok. So you're going to have to make this decision quickly, Leo females. Leo men too, you're definitely on the clock. Because I feel you're losing money as, as the time ticks by. Um, Leo females, you have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Bottom of the deck is honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Um, and I do see that going both ways because release your ex as the next card out. Right behind that, new love. Definitely check me out on the extended Leos if this is resonating. Um, I will also get clarifier, cl clarifiers and pull more um, of the uh, uh, guidance cards. So definitely check me out. If you don't join me over there, that's okay too. Thank you for joining me on your <clears throat> daily love reading. I send you all love and light. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. and Drop me a like if you would. Um, I am going to start doing more extended readings for the top three zodiacs that uh, for their likes, shares, and subs or comments. So most definitely drop me a like, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't yet. Much love.